This video is going to show you how to use the blocks and hatches for free download at the top of the description. I'll also show you how to add these blocks to a tool palette. Once you've downloaded the file, you'll be greeted with a similar screen to what I have here. What I would do is have this blocks file open and then create a new drawing where I would start my architectural drawings and then when I need the blocks, I would switch over to this file and copy and paste what I need in. But I've also seen people like to add these blocks to a tool palette so they don't have to have this block file open all the time. So let's set up a tool palette. We can access it by either pressing Control and 3 or typing in tool palette into the command line. So Control 3 brings it up and also typing in tool and then P will get you there and press enter. What I'm going to do after it has popped up for me, since it's in the middle of the screen, I'm going to grab the header on the left hand side here and just bring it over to the left hand side of my screen so that it docks. Remember you can toggle this menu at any time by simply pressing Control 3. If we right click onto any of these headers here, we can create our own palette by pressing New Palette. What this will be is our custom palette and I'm just going to name this Blocks for now. Now it's as simple as clicking and dragging the blocks into our new empty tool palette. Feel free to do this for all of the blocks that we have available. We also have the option of right clicking on the individual blocks and then renaming them to whatever it is you'd like to call it. You'll notice that some of the blocks have automatically generated strings of letters for their name. Once you've added in all the blocks, now you have the blocks inside of your tool palette and you just have to click on them once and you can easily paste them into your drawings, like so. Something worth noting, is that if you're constantly expanding your tool palette and your blocks list, you'll gain a very long list, which can take a lot of time to scroll down. So I tend to keep my blocks file open as I find it a lot easier to navigate. As you'll see with my personal block file, I have a lot of blocks, even including previous jobs that I've worked on. And as you'd expect, it's a lot easier just to scroll from one part of the file to another and then copy and paste it in rather than going for a long scroll down our tool palette. So feel free to go with whatever choice best suits you. I think if you're just going to be adding these blocks to it, you might be best off just using the tool palette. But if you find that your blocks list gets bigger and bigger, then a single blocks file could be the way forward for you. Now your must use blocks are just a click away this setup can save you loads of time, especially on repeated drawing tasks. Let me know if you found this helpful. If you want more block tutorials or drawing templates, I've got more on the way. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out.